want to lift up the nation of Argentina. Just two weeks ago, when we were worshiping, a prophetic word came forth about storms over Latin America, particularly political storms, political violence. And just last night, just last night, the vice president of Argentina narrowly escaped an assassination attempt. Just last night, a gunman got within centimeters from her face with five bullets in the chamber and the gun jammed because of prayer. Because we prayed. Because the Lord gave us a heads up and we prayed. Then there's Chile. Voting on a new constitution. The nation sorely divided. And the Lord showed me Chile needs a reformation. But we're seeing shakings, tremblings, even beginning in Latin America. Father, I lift up Argentina, a nation that has not seen such an attack since it formed its democracy in the 1980s. What a shock to the system, a peaceful country. What a shock to the system. Lord, we cancel every enemy plan over Argentina in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus against every demonic assault that is brewing in the spirit over Argentina. We say Argentina will rise as a beacon in South America in Jesus' name. We say what the enemy intended for harm, God, you will turn it for good. In Jesus' name. We ask you, Father, just like you brought revival to Argentina in the past, God, we're asking you to pour out your spirit once again. Let the reaction of this attempted assassination cause the intercessors to stir once again, to cry out for revival once again. Cause the prophets to see what, they, what you are showing them, God, so that we don't miss it again, so that no one can come that close to assassinating a national leader again. God, raise up your intercessors in revival. I just see in the spirit some very, very elderly intercessors in Argentina. They know their time is short on the earth and they're looking for some to hand the baton to. They're looking for some to give their mantle to. So, Father, would you help those aged intercessors in Argentina to find some young, fiery ones with a passion and a heart for your gospel, for revival and awakening. Lord, let that spiritual transfer occur. Ah! like with Elijah and Elisha. Lord, let a double portion of that spirit of revival fall upon the young ones in Argentina who will pray without ceasing. I thank you, Lord. We call forth an even greater revival than anything Argentina has ever seen. Everything that has happened in the past, Lord, I thank you. you double it. Double the salvations. Double the power. Double the fire. Double the, the, the outpouring. Double the salvations. Double the deliverance double, 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 double. I prophesy double, 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 double over Argentina. Oh, the enemy has overplayed his hand in Argentina. And we thank you, Lord, that his plans did not prosper against the vice president. I thank you, Lord, that you will turn this. I see a turning point in Argentina. That lukewarm spirit tried to rest upon the church. But the Lord says, I am returning the former glory to Argentina. I am raising up a new generation of prayer warriors, intercessors, prophets, and watchmen in the name of Jesus. I am going to send them forth with gospel power in their mouth and signs and wonders following and you will see and know that I have marked revival. If I have marked Argentina for revival and awakening once again, says the Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, oh Jesus. I 
hear intercessors groaning for revival, groaning in the spirit, groaning in the spirit, travailing in the spirit. Hey! Hey! 